how many backups do you recommend and what are the places you'd say people should store these? I think that's a very nuanced question. Um, it really depends on what you feel comfortable with and how much uh, of value you are storing. So if you hold a few thousands of um, dollars, it might be totally okay to have um, like a, your backup on the SD card or on a paper backup, um, just like, I don't know, hidden in a, in a, in a drawer somewhere. Of course, um, adding physical protection to the backup um, is always good. So if you do have like a, a secure location or a vault or like a safety deposit box, that's, that's perfect. Um, you can, what you, I think, um, the, the one thing about backups is that you need to secure it, store it, uh, se store it securely, but you also need to uh, uh, store it redundantly. So you don't have a single point of failure. But of course, this is like a little bit in contrast to each other. So if you spread it out, the chances of discovery are a bit higher. So I don't think there's a clear cut answer to that. It's possible to split up a backup. So you have maybe two or three. Um, we do have a blog post on shiftcrypto.ch slash blog that goes exactly into these backup uh, topics. This is, I th today it's considered safe but it reduces randomness quite a bit so it might not be safe in 10 years um, if you're really planning for long-term holding of really um, big funds i think and i hope um, multisig will get a lot easier over time because then you really have multiple signers that can that you can even if even if one is compromised and nothing is lost um, so it really depends on a, a drawer, a secure location at home. I personally don't want anything at home. Um, so I have it uh, distributed geographically. And of course, then going multi-sig is even more secure. Sorry to not have like the one specific answer, but I think that's, <laughs> that's probably a, a pretty long um, blog post that we need to write at one time. Anything to add, Douglas? Uh, no, I just saw a post by uh, someone where I disagree with using a bankster safety, safe deposit box that could deny you access. <laughs> True. That's a good point. So it also depends on your jurisdiction, how, how banks operate there. Yeah, yeah that's a good point. Um, when I recently rethought my own whole setup, I, I set it up that it's basically safe in physical locations, but I don't, re uh, I don't rely on any banks. So there are of course secure locations where you don't have a bank or you just might do, do it redundantly, um, where in, in the best case, you just go to your bank and sign, um, directly there. But if they should deny you access, you still have a fallback that might be very, very hard to access. So very inconvenient, but you hopefully wouldn't ever do that. Maybe uh, I just um, have this uh, lying around here. So we we also do sell these um, steel wallets. So just thinking about having a very, very inconvenient but super secure um, fallback solution to your bank denying you access. Maybe just like store your backup in steel and, and bury it somewhere. That might also be an option. I, I even heard people like putting it in the trees and waiting until the trees grows over. So that's <laughs> probably a bad advice, but still funny. <laughs>